uh, this is gonna be special. is the most luxurious car that's ever been in studio hands down this one takes things to a whole different level beyond the stratosphere it's the Maybach S580, the new one with the two-tone and the special funky features that exist only in a car that's at this level this is Mercedes Rolls-Royce killer the Maybach Let's just check out the front end. Here we have our digital lights, auto high beam functionality, incredible grill up front, stable and imposing front facing camera. We have our variety of sensors, which are nicely hidden inside the grill. Above there, we have our classic Mercedes emblem. When you're sitting in the vehicle, the nice thing is you have this chrome line down the center of the hood leading right to the emblem and through it. I think this looks even better from the inside than it does from the outside. So we have a nice mix here of black and chrome and then the two-tone paint, which kind of says Maybach more than anything else. Now you can get this in a variety of configurations. I think this config is very elegant. Some might say it's the perfect specification. It's possible. We have this pinstripe, which is done by hand. It's a subtle touch, but when you approach it, your eye picks it up right away. Now you can spec this one out with a number of different wheel options. These are my absolute favorites, reminiscent of an AMG design from the late 80s, early 90s. My grandfather had one of those cars. This is just pure nostalgia for me. The Mercedes just wears this almost monoblock style so well. You can get your fancy spokes and stuff if you want. Those wheel options exist, but this is just so classic and so Mercedes, this would be my choice. You get a sense for just how grand the vehicle is. It is longer than you think, long enough to stretch your legs out in the back seat. That's right, this is one of those cars where the back seat is better than the front seat. I don't know, maybe you wanna take a peek in the back seat at the moment since we have the windows down. Like, holy, this is better than your living room. You got the silver champagne flutes, recline functionality, footrest functionality, all types of screens. Then the front seat goes all the way forward, so you basically have first class travel with tables for eating or working. Everything is in here. It's, it's a lot. Mercedes-Benz branding over here. Traditional style handle, but retracting, obviously, cool factor, plus a little bit of improvements with the aerodynamic. You have this mix of Maybach branding and Mercedes branding going on. My favorite is this Maybach emblem on this rear pillar. It looks so timeless and obviously exclusive. You just don't see it nearly as often as the Mercedes branding. If we open up the trunk, what you're gonna notice is first, it's fairly cavernous. You got a decent amount of space in there. I also see a subwoofer on the side. And then you're gonna see this right over here. That's a fridge accessible via the back seat for keeping your champagne or other beverages nice and cool. You could have some water bottles, you could have some beer. It's completely up to you. Oh, is that for your suit? Yeah, that's right, that's for your suit. I don't think I would ever use it. I'd probably put like a hat or something on there, but... The top hat? Yeah, I might put a, a fancier hat than this one. Oh, yeah, so obviously power operational comes down on its own. Maybach over here, so you don't forget. Mercedes in the middle, S580 on this side. This thing is about 500 horsepower. It is a V8. I think there is a V12 model, but this is the, the model you're more likely to see the V8. S580. It's not a cheap vehicle either, by the way. These things are very rare. Often you will see the price marked up above the sticker at the moment. Yeah, so check this out. S580, 4Matic, Sienna Brown, black exclusive Napa leather, high-tech silver metallic that's on the top there, obsidian black metallic on the bottom. You can option these things like crazy, including the executive rear seating package, $11,500 option, extended leather elements, $15,000, the two-tone paint, $20,000, our sticker price, just under $300,000, four liter V8 by turbo, 496 horsepower exactly. 
and a top speed 210 kilometers an hour. Now, normally in a car video, I would just hop straight into the driver's seat. I'll do the same here, but I promise you the exciting part is still coming up because it happens in the back seat. I'm not gonna start it up right now. Instead, I'm just gonna turn on the electronics. So you can see that the uh, steering wheel moved into place. We have a number of controls on the steering wheel, actually. Everything here for your adaptive cruise. We have some nav here, as well as multimedia controls for answering ending phone calls and so forth. A really unique feature, something I haven't seen before in a car, is this 3D display directly in front. So there's actually depth that you can see, which is enhanced by different drive mode selections, so that the uh, various elements inside the display appear to be kind of stacked almost moving forward. You also have a large heads up display with all kinds of smart functionality. When we get this thing on the road, we'll see a lot more of that. We still have some manually controlled uh, air vents, which I like because they are quick and easy to interact with. We have this huge display in the center, which has uh, all your variety of functions, apps, comfort settings, vehicle settings. In the comfort section, there's some crazy stuff. So we have massage, hot relaxing back, hot relaxing shoulders, mobilizing massage, activating massage, classic massage. I don't know, let's try hot relaxing back. There we go. I'm getting poked in a pleasant way, in a pleasant way. <laughs> Just the seat adjustments in general, like look at the way the adjustment happens. One of the more innovative ways to interact. And this is one area where I think a screen helps you visualize exactly where that lumbar support is. And this is substantial when you press on this versus having it just on the side here and kind of wondering where the setting is. Dynamic multi-contour seats, different levels over here. Ambient lighting, as mentioned, is wild. You can see what happens. We will turn the lights off, don't you worry. It's gonna be an entire montage. And then other effects, operating feedback, warning support, and multicolor animation. Energizing comfort is pretty wild. This is an actual scent that's being pumped into the cabin via a little module sitting inside the glove box here. I can just pump it to the driver's side? Like, that's pretty crazy. And it comes with like a whole experience, visual, audio, plus scent. And massage. I'm vibrating, my butt is vibrating right now at the same time. <laughs> Yes. The volume is a touch control, which I simply slide my finger on. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen that in a car before. Probably not, I assume not. That definitely takes things to another level. Something I almost missed, I don't wanna forget, the sound system in here is ridiculous. It is a Burmester sound system and it's got speakers everywhere, including this massive unit in the center here, creating a, a really surrounding type of sound. Also, there's just speaker units all over the place. Everywhere you see these metallic grills, you can see on the door alone, we have a giant unit down on the bottom and then this unit uh, up right around sort of your ear height. It, it comes out of the housing and it is part of the ambient lighting setup. So you get a ring ambient light around the outside of it. You can control pretty much everything from this display. I can put up the rear shade, for example, back there, motorized. I can just go ahead and click close all, which will close the this the ceiling ones as well as the ones that are on the windows but the windows happen to be down right now assistance systems are obviously very comprehensive active distance assist active steering assist lane change assist we have collision avoidance active braking i mean this thing has every sensor that you would want on a modern car active blind spot assistance uh, traffic signs traffic lights and attention assistance as well cameras are all over the place let's go ahead and launch the uh, camera unit. So here we can see the car in 3D space as well as 
Kirk holding the camera, leaning in. That's him right there. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, a, it's kind of an interesting viewpoint, but obviously it's a stitched image. We can still select any individual camera and it's really cool the way it creates like a 3D quarter angle of your vehicle to see if you're gonna bump into anything. This 3D driver display, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you uh, don't like the special effect. You can turn that off in this location as well as uh, your heads up display, your parking sensors, lane keep assist. Uh, so anyway, you have some quick settings in this area as well. Okay, let's go ahead and look around the cabin a little bit. So you have this main area in the front here, which has your cup holders. There's a specific key location to sort of house the key in this cup holder. We have wireless charging for phones in this little area up here. You have two USB-C ports over here. Yes, this does support Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. And then you have this nice little button in order to close the door, the lid, more piano black. Behind there, we have this button which releases these two little doors. They open down the center and we have two more USB type C ports. There's a lot of USB C in this car. So far, the count is already at four. So that gives you an overview of what the driver can expect in the S580 Maybach, but that's not what this is about. This is a vehicle where the best seat is actually in the back. Let's go experience that. This is the magic seat. This is what the Maybach is all about. Limousine, private jet status. Uh, probably the first thing that strikes you is these champagne flutes right here. <laughs> that, that lets you know that you're experiencing something different than in other vehicles. And you can see the way they're gripped in there so that when you're driving, the stem is held in place. They can't tip over, but when you go to lift it up, it just comes up easily. You put it back down and it locks into place. Now, of course, you can have regular beverages as well, and those are gonna go into these cup holders. And the best part about these cup holders is that they are heated and cooled. So you tap it once and you're in cool mode. So this is gonna keep whatever drink is in there uh, cool, obviously cold. And you have this nice blue indicator, LED lighting to let you know you're in cool mode. Click the button again, you go into warm mode represented by red. So now your coffee or whatever hot drink you're drinking stays warm. In front of there, we have our own dedicated climate control for uh, staying comfy in the back seat. We can also interact with this touch screen on the back of the passenger seat, or I can pop out this tablet in this location, and this is going to be a mirror of what I see on that display. So if I choose to watch some video here, it's also going to be pumped through to there, or I can just sit back and relax with the tablet itself, which is always charged because it's sitting in this nice little custom cradle. These are like silver, by the way. I don't, these are like serious. I can remove those and hit this button here. And look at this, motorized two-piece. Look how futuristic that looks. And the ambient lighting is just, I'm still discovering new locations that have ambient lighting, including around this whole trim piece and the backs of both of the, uh, the front seats. Of course, you've also got to have Maybach branded pillows for when you're really relaxing back here. This section here is where your fridge is. You'll pull down on this section like this, and then right over here, you see your accessible fridge from inside the cabin. Open this door and we have cold German beer, obviously, for consumption inside of our flutes. It's probably normally champagne, but we opted for German beer instead to celebrate the presence of the Maybach. In the center here, this does lift up. There's a latch there and this is where I get excited. Now we have these two tray tables, airline style tray tables that come out and open up into this very comfortable, useful workspace, eat space, drink space, read space, whatever. Look at that. This is part of the executive seating package. You also have a wireless charger in a very well thought out location. Look how many USB type C ports are over there. That's four, plus you have a DC, and then you also have two HDMI ports full size. So if you wanted to put some video source or a video game, you can access your rear displays via these two HDMI ports 
You could probably put a Switch, you could probably fit a Nintendo Switch dock in here, in this section, and then just have your Pro Controller and be playing on the display as you travel while eating your snacks. Now the door still happens to be open. There's a switch up here which controls the opening and closing of the door. So it's in the open position. I can just press here without the need to reach out. But there's an even fancier way to achieve this. Pull inwards and the door closes. Is that a magic trick or what? Who doesn't want to do that? while remaining reclined. Obviously you have heated and cooled seats in the back. That's right, I said obviously it's a $300,000 Maybach. That's right, it's an obvious thing. What's a little less obvious is this footrest. So if I reach over here and push up, you're gonna see this footrest extend. This is pure luxury. Take me anywhere with this suspension, with this audio system, with all the gadgets, the cold beverages right on my left, the extended leg rest, the reclining seat in the sedan. I got the heating and cooled seats. I got the my own lighting if I need it. And my shade slash guard. I basically have Android on here. Like I have a Chrome browser all connected through here. So it's like a full Android experience here. And you can also interact with MBUX by clicking that button and then anything you want to show on the screen play through the audio system control in the car you're capable of doing from here this might be the most comfortable spot to travel in on the road that's where i might be sitting right now you add in this variety of tech features and the smoothness of the ride the quietness of the ride uh, it's going to be pretty tough to beat I mean, I mean. Picture this, you're rolling up, you're going through the city, the skyline is in the background, the ambient lighting is on blast in this vehicle, you're in this in insanely comfortable seat. How about ocean blue or Malibu sunset? <laughs> tangerine up to pink and you can see it actually moving you can see it cycling through in real time but there's so many different settings to choose from these are the multicolor settings you can also if you're more boring just do something monochrome and cycle through that but this is also kind of cool it's actually not boring and it kind of serves a purpose too because it lights the cabin so you can reach and see things like these are lit, the flutes are lit, the cup holders are lit, your controls on the side here are lit for your seating. So it's not just cool factor, there's some functionality in there as well. I'm driving right now, this is not even what you're supposed to do. Although I don't see why you wouldn't. There's this conversation with these type of cars, like as far as you should be driven in them, you should be in the back seat. Well, there's nothing wrong with that spot either. I'm sure Will can attest. I can attest. I believe he has attested that the back seat is great, but the front, it's just as good. This thing is so planted, so smooth and quiet, there's a train like a foot away from us. That's how quiet this is right now. The seat has been responding to my behavior. When I turn, the bolster on the opposing side will hug me. It'll do this without me asking. The audio system will vibrate somewhere in the seat affecting my loins. <laughs> hours, hours I can drive in this. Just going anywhere. It's better than your living room. It's so quiet. In a car like this, you're in no rush to get anywhere. I mean, you could, you have 500 horsepower. You could be in a rush if need be. Big display in front of me, vibrant HUD much more contrasty than others that I've seen. We have our lane keep pictured in there. We can tell if we're central to the lane. 
We have our speed, obviously we have the speed limit. Touch controls on the steering wheel for controlling volume. Of course, uh, the car only plays classical music. That's it. Which is understood. That's a joke. Everything is a nice reach away while driving. Like this entire display, that is one of the benefits of having this squared off orientation. Oh man, it smells good in here. I'm in here, I live in here. Actually, Will lives in here. Will, say something about your seat back there. What are you up to? It's very comfortable. I'm sleeping. Cloud nine, some say. It's a very popular cloud. It's the one everyone wants to get to. I don't know why it's nine. Ooh, <laughs> elegance, more emblems. We can put our driver's assistance up here too. The car's location in space. This is a common setup for EVs and things like that. Let's try sport. Ooh. Oh man. You didn't, you didn't expect that. No. You didn't expect that. I did not. He hauled. It's so smooth that you forget. You think to yourself, oh, that's a refined beast right there. Smooth and slow. And then you hit the pedal. And there's a V8 in there. There's 500 horses in there. What's amazing about it is you barely hear it. You feel it, but you barely hear it still in the cabin. Very sporty, actually really amps things up with the red and such. You get this like dual pane situation for Android Auto, which is happening wirelessly at the moment. You're just wirelessly charging and it's spitting it out. Uh, you get this secondary pane, because I guess you have a little extra space and uh, that's gonna be your media controls. Yeah. Listen, I love it. I love this car. This is amazing. I've tried a lot of different cars. This is hands down the most luxurious, the most comfortable, as it should be. That's really no surprise, but there's something weird that happens when you're in it. And I was saying that to these guys when we first jumped in. It's like, at first, it seems so over the top. It seems so extra. And then you sit in it and you're like, wait, pillows, comfort, tables, fridges. I like all these things put all these things together, it makes a better thing. It's pretty straightforward, actually. We all love it, all right? That's it. You would love it too, you know? So. You could be Willy Do right there, about sleeping. That could be you. Who's gonna say no to that? Oh, he's actually sleeping. This episode has been sponsored by Henson Shaving. Discover a high quality double edge razor. These are made of aluminum, a robust feeling, timeless type of design, some grip on the handle. This piece unscrews and your blades will be installed here. So never mind those expensive monthly plans for sharp blades. These are going to come in at $49 for two years worth of shaving. And then another two years worth of blades 
can be purchased for $15 after that. It's not about the number of blades that you use for shaving. It's not about some sort of fancy or futuristic design. This is tried and true. It's about having sharp, high quality blades designed, manufactured and packaged in Canada. Apply mild pressure. The shaving angle is achieved by the design of the head. This design works well, not just for faces, but also for those that shave their heads. Hey, Mo, want a, want a haircut? It's precision work here, Mo. Ooh, such fine tolerances. You can see that wonderfully sharp blade extending over the edge and the cutting angle maintained by the entire shape of the aluminum head. Super easy installation. How about this? Another color option. These are timeless designs. Like that's never gonna go out of fashion. Oh, wow. I don't see this one listed on the website, but it is also very cool. A little bit more sporty. I suppose. So never mind 20 bucks for a four pack of razors, those refillable ones that you buy at the drugstore. Never mind paying a high monthly fee to always have sharp blades. The point here is that you're gonna be able to spend like 50 bucks over a couple of years. And then the refill for like another two years is gonna be around 15 bucks, all while handling an expertly crafted, wonderful to hold, timeless design. All right, so here's the best part. If you wanna upgrade your shaving game and pick up one of these timeless designs for yourself, uh, you got a special code, because you're an Unbox Therapy viewer. Use the code Unbox Therapy to get 100 extra blades for free with the purchase of one of these razors. Thank you to Henson Shaving for sponsoring this episode.